children is, what the symptoms are, the types and causes. We'll then look at the challenges, we'll look at the hope, and then we conclude. There will certainly be a, um, a time for questions and answers, but during this session, because our time is a little limited, what I'll plead with you is that you jot out all your points, your comments, and during discussion time, we can all discuss together. I hope we are fine by that. Okay, great. Now I want to ask, who can tell us who starts Who can help us with that? If we say somebody starts. Any idea? Do you want to help? I, I saw you smiling, so I thought you were going to talk. <laughs> Thank you. So as he's rightly, he, he's rightly said at all. Um, now, before we get to into it, I want to um, bring this up. You know, there are times you hear stuttering, there are times you hear stammering. They're actually the same word used for a particular condition. Whereas some parts of the world refer to that condition as stammering, some will refer to it as stuttering. So if you take the, the US, um, parts of New Zealand and other countries, they'll use stuttering. Stammering is a word used for that condition in the UK and then by extension, Ghana. So Ghana, you normally will not hear stuttering. You hear stammering, but they are the same words used for, to describe a particular condition. Now as rightly pointed out by our brother Elia, stuttering is a speech disorder. And in this disorder, you find that there's frequent and significant problems with flow of speech and the frequency of the normal flow of speech. Let's look at statistics. 